Hi, welcome. In today's video, I will talk about function transformations. So let's first take a quick review of Precalculus 11. In Precalculus 11, we have already learned some basic function transformation. So for example, if the, if the original function is y equal to x squared, so plus 2 means 2 unit up. And uh, y equal to x minus 5 means 5 unit to the right. So basically, for example, if this point is 0, 0, the vertex after plus 2 will move to 0 0.2, right? And uh, if moving 5 unit to the right, this will become 5 and 0. And in grade 12, um, it basically applies to any function. And it also introduced some reflection. So for example, if y equal to negative fx, um, this means a reflection in the x-axis because any point x, y will map into x, negative y. So x, y will map into x, negative y. And uh, if you put a negative in front of x, that means any point x, y will, let, will reflect to negative x and y. So that's a reflection in the y-axis. So x, y reflect into negative x, y. And uh, if you times a in front of fx, so that means any point x, y will become x and a y. So that's a vertical stretch about the x-axis by a factor of a. Again, if a is smaller than zero, that's then the graph should do a reflection. So do a reflection here in the first in the first one. So you can uh, do a vertical stretch first, then do a reflection if a is smaller than zero. And for this one, if y equal to f b x, that's a horizontal stretch by a factor of one over b. Again, if b is smaller than zero, you just do a reflection here in step two. And uh, you know this one may be a little bit difficult to understand. So let's take example. So if y equal to f two x, that means any point x y will become x over two and the y, right? So in summary, um, combined transformation is a step by step. Um, so if you want to trans transform fx, the original one, to our standard form, that's you have to do the horizontal stretch by a factor of one over p and the vertical stretch by a factor of a, and then do the translation. Let's take a look at, you know, example. Um, so for example, fx is equal to x squared. And the translated function gx is equal to 1 over negative 1 over 2 f 2x minus 4 plus 1. So here we have a, b, h, k, and first, let's do a horizontal stretch because b is 2. So the horizontal stretch factor 1 over 2. So this point 2, 4 will become 1, 4. And then do the, horizontal, uh, do the vertical stretch. So because a is 1 over negative 1 over 2, so here 1, 4 will become 1, 2. And then, because um, A is negative, right? So we have to do a vertical stretch. We have to do a reflection here. And finally, because H is 4 and the K is 1, so we do a translation of 4 unit to the right and 1 unit up. 
So in summary, uh, it's a step-by-step -step process. Step one, you have to write the function in the standard form here to better identify the transformations. So sometimes you have to rewrite, rewrite the function uh, to identify A, B, H, and K. And second, stretches and the reflections may be performed in any order. Okay, that's good. We can do in any order of stretch and refraction. But this is very important. Translation should be done in the last step. Okay, this is very important. So we should do translation in the last step. And third, with the parameter we have figured out, and uh, so this, this parameter uh, is to do the following transformations, A, B, H, K, we have introduced before. So finally, let's take a look at our final task. This is a very comprehensive question that you should be able to do in the pre-calculus 12 exam. So here the graph of fx is given, and uh, we have to stretch the graph of this one. This one, a, b, h, k, we can identify here. So if you look at the book, it will normally introduce two methods. One method is you can, uh, you can, do, you can use this graph and do the stretch and the translation and the reflection step by step. And basically you have to draw, you know, three or four different graphs uh, very accurately. That's kind of difficult, right? Um, I usually, I would always recommend the method two, that is uh, locating the key point. Uh, what's that mean? Locating the key point. So here, the key point, for first one, the key point is three zero. So we, we should figure out after this trend, this step, this uh, translation step, where will this key point goes to? So three, you know, we have this coordinate three. Three, it's a horizontal one. The horizontal three, three will do, because B is one over two, it's a horizontal stretch of factor two. So three first will become six. And uh, because B is negative, so 6 will become negative 6, do a reflection. And uh, then uh, horizontally, the stretch is done. And we finally, we need to do a horizontal translation, right? It's 2 unit to the left, 2 unit to the left, so it will become negative 8. We figure out 3 will become negative 8, and 0. This is a vertical coordinate. So vertical coordinate zero will become zero after the vertical stretch. And finally, after the vertical translation will become negative one, so negative one. So we already figured out 1.30 will become negative eight, negative one. So we figure out one point. So we just uh, do this step over one by one. So the second point here is negative six and zero, the second key point. The so negative six will become negative 12 and then become 12 after reflection. Then two units to the left become 10. So we have 10. And zero, you know, become zero, right? After a stretch and one unit become negative 1. So we have 10, negative 1, and uh, here this horizontal 0, after stretch, still 0, and 2 units to the left, so negative 2, but 5, you know, after it's a vertical one, so vertically after a vertical stretch, it will become 2.5 because A is half and uh, one unit down so become 1.5 so we have negative 2 1.5 and the next and uh, finally 
the last point, negative 5, 3. So negative 5 will become, horizontally will become negative 10, and become 10, and 2 units to the left become 8, right? And 3 vertically up stretch become 1.5, and 1 unit down 0 0.5. So we have 8, 0 0.5. And our last step will be, you know, connect these four points. Yeah, then our graph is done. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.